But right now, we're going to talk to all the do-it-yourselfers. Do you have those great projects and you're thinking, I'd love to tackle them, but it's a little bit too difficult? Well, Bluestone Cottage is going to change that for you. You're going to be amazed at how effectively you are going to revitalize old furniture. You're going to be going to the, the garage sales and thinking, all right, I got to find, and I'm going to find the oldest used piece of furniture. It could be chipping, it could be peeling, and I am going to turn it into a treasure, a French country treasure. Well, in fact, you have an entire your paint kit right here. Blockbuster price of less than $100. It's 513-751. And you don't have to be intimidated when it comes to those do-it-yourself projects. We're going to say hello to Pamela Stiles, who is the ultimate do-it-yourselfer, <laughs> who has created the Bluestone Cottage line of great paints that are very low in those VOCs. Great to have you here. Thank you so much. All right. It's so, so exciting to be here. You are already getting to work here. Yeah, I just want to jump right in. We've all seen those painted furniture pieces mm -hmm. everywhere, magazines, stores, and they're very expensive. That shabby chic kind yes. of look. Yeah, Absolutely. very expensive, but beautiful. Beautiful, but you have those pieces at home. Mm -hmm. Most of us do. We don't even realize it because we walk by them every day. They're ignored, and we want to make them adored. Could be grandma's. <laughs> I love that. It could be grandma's furniture that she's passed down, and you have it yeah. somewhere in a basement. Or you have it stored away. Uh, or how about taking that out and really modernizing it? So how easy is it? How how, you know, we're taking the kit. I'm going to show you right now. Mm -hmm. This is the chalky patina right here. This is raw wood. How beautiful is that? Oh, look, look at that. that. Color. This color is Tuscan teal. Isn't that just amazing? And that's just one coat. Okay, so did you have to sand anything first? You don't have to sand anything. That is the beauty of this. There's nothing worse than wanting to change something, mm. but thinking about the work involved and sanding it and the fumes and everything else. Like this piece, for example. Mm -hmm. This is something that I'm sure a lot of people have very similar pieces, but they don't want to sand it. They don't want to get into all of that. Yeah. We painted up a little bit before, but let's say we don't want that color. Well, let's just change that color. And we're entitled to change and our minds. Yes, right? of course. <laughs> and we're just going to go right on top. Wow. So Isn't no sanding amazing? if we don't want to. Look at how easy that is. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that coverage. Uh, we also have to talk about how crazy fast this dries because yes. this is different. A lot of paint take a little bit of time to yes. dry. This is just lovely. And it's all 100% um, acrylic latex, mm -hmm. low VOCs, soap and water cleanup. I can't even smell it, to be honest. I don't smell anything right now. Very, very tiny yeah. hint of, of a scent. I mean, it doesn't smell like that harsh chemical smell exactly. at all. Exactly. Isn't that beautiful? Do you mm -hmm. want to try I'd it? I'd love to. So I'll we'll just dip it in a little bit? Sure. Okay. And there's no mistakes with this. That's the beauty of it. Wow. You can put it on as thick as you want, as thin as mm -hmm. you want. Most of the paints, if you're new to the chalk style paint, you, you have to fun. know <laughs> that it, they come really, really thick. This is very thick. So you might want to water it down depending on your, yourself and how mm -hmm. you like to use it. Um, but yeah, you, this you can water it. Isn't is that beautiful? Awesome. Yeah, beautiful. And you don't have to be intimidated, right, for those do-it-yourself mm -hmm. projects. You see them on the home renovation shows and you think, well, it looks amazing. I'd love to do that. But you, you sometimes get thinking that, oh, it's too much work. It's but it's not when you have the Bluestone Cottage. You can finish something like this in an afternoon. Wow. Yeah. So I just want to point out, this is... Oh, well, this is done with oil for sure, but mm -hmm. this is oil, black oil that I put on here, oil paint with a nice shiny top coat, right? So I'm going to hand you that. Thank you. And I'm going to open up the silky patina. Mm -hmm. if you want to just dip into that? Just a little bit like yeah, that? Okay. sure. Mm -hmm. These brushes are fantastic. They hold so much paint. Now put that right on top. Oh, my. Look at that. Look at that. No bubbling, no streaking. It's just incredible. I that just love this so stuff. cool. <laughs> You're going to be going around I the home going, okay, it. what can oh. I what can I effectively paint? Oh. What can I freshen up? Yeah. And sometimes you have the really tired furniture and you're thinking, I'd love to go out and buy brand new furniture, but it's not in the budget. So right. this is such a great way to make over oh, the room. And kitchen cabinets. Mm -hmm. You can redo your kitchen cabinets. <gasps> you can, like, it's endless what you could do. I mean, if you're anything like me, you're going to do everything. Wow, oh, look at that. Yeah. That is gorgeous. Isn't did that you do beautiful? that, Pamela? Yes, I did. That, my girlfriend had that in her kitchen, mm -hmm. and she wanted to throw it out. And I said, I'll take it. So I redid it. And then she came over, and she said, hmm, I think I want that back. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, no, you gave no, it to uh -uh. me. You can't have it back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's just so wow. much fun. And look. how long did it take you to get that gorgeous, shabby chic look? Um, that took me probably a little bit over a day. Mm -hmm. And it took me one of these, just one 500 mil jar. 
Wow. Yes, it really goes far. So with the kit that we're getting today, we are able to tackle a job like that. But take Absolutely. a look at this, another great oh, piece of furniture yeah. that, I mean, that's a completely different look. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. That's with the um, signature color bluestone. Mm -hmm. And then on the drawer, I just um, added a little bit of white to the bluestone to make it a little lighter. So it looks, it's actually right back here, that piece. We oh, can see that later. We'll take a yeah. look at that. This could be a, a, an antique chair that you have mm -hmm. that needs a little bit of loving, yes. TLC, right? Look at that, that difference. Oh, isn't that beautiful? That was a whole dining room set that I did, and it just turned out so beautiful. The customer wanted something that was a little bit more beachy and mm. light, and it, and it turned out just lovely. Isn't that gorgeous? Mm -hmm. Now, that's the kind of look that you would pay a lot of money for when you Absolutely. go to those furniture stores because Shabby Chic is very in right now. Very in. Painted furniture is very mm -hmm. in. It's just lovely. And you're only limited by your own imagination. You could pretty much do anything. And if you're anything like me, mm -hmm. you see a piece of furniture on the side of the road, you're pulling <laughs> over to pick it up because you know you can do something with it when you have such a great product like this. Well, there are those great garage sales and you find those treasures and you think, well, oh, somebody's yeah. throwing it out, but that is your gold mine. And mm -hmm. take a look right there. There, you're seeing that display. This is what Pamela did um, herself. You might have a piece of furniture that, that looks just like this, but it could be that old uh, maple or oak look, and you want something that becomes a little more updated, a little more modernized. Get that gorgeous, shabby, chic look. Mm -hmm. So again, we're going to continue with the project there, mm -hmm. Pamela. We're seeing that corner. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I just wanted to continue on this piece on this for piece a second. Okay. Sure, because here is one that I already did. And so this has the black oil underneath, mm -hmm. the blue stone color on top in the silky, and then we just roughed it up a little with, with our sanding sponge just to, just to add a little bit more patina look, you yeah. know, give it that French country look. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't really, there are no rights or wrongs, there's no bloopers as we like to call mm -hmm. them. <laughs> you can just sand as much as you like or as little as you like, and it just turns out gorgeous. Amazing. So what happens if you Isn't find that, that you sand it off just a little bit too much? You just put on some more paint. More paint. Yeah, absolutely. And if you, you find it's not mm. enough, you can add a little bit more. Now this is the paint that's been sanded, mm -hmm. but no top coat, and it feels beautiful. You can totally yeah. leave it like this if you like. Absolutely. And it's so mm -hmm. uh, smooth to the touch, but it really revitalizing your furniture, getting that really mm -hmm. cool sort of you know patina finish to it. It is a blockbuster price, so you're going to get the entire kit for $99.99 for Four easy pays of $24.99. Take a look at these cool looks. I know you've probably gone to those furniture stores. You've seen these looks in their windows. You look at the prices and think, oh, okay, well, I'm going to wait on that. Yeah, absolutely. Look in the basement. Look in the garage. Look in the storage. What do you have that you are going to throw away, right? That's right. That's right. You think it's just junk and I don't want to look at it anymore mm -hmm. and it's going to become your most prized <laughs> possession in the house. <laughs> okay, what else can we do, Pamela? I, this is another way you can use this mm -hmm. product is, is you just just take water and a little bit of paint, shake it up so it's very watery, mm -hmm. and you're almost using it like a, a stain. Oh. So it's just like a pickled whitewash, and you can do this with any of the colors, but how lovely is that? Mm -hmm. So even if you did a kitchen table and you did the legs like this and the tabletop in solid white, it, I mean, it's endless, and, and it's so beautiful, and it gives you such a... A nice feeling. You feel like you're on the beach coast or something, and it's oh, just. I know it's relaxing. It's very relaxing. It's calming. Very calming. Even think about the cottage, right? Your cottage right now, because oftentimes we send the oldest furniture up to the cottage, right? Refresh it, enjoy. That's, right. that's where you come to relax and unwind. You want a really great space. There's everything that's coming to you in the kit. Mm -hmm. It is a blockbuster at ninety-nine dollars and change. So we've got the five hundred mil. We have the five hundred mil, mm -hmm. and I've had a customer tell me to make sure that I tell people that this goes a long way because mm -hmm. it is very, very thick. She's added water to it and she almost made two 500 mils. So she did her granddaughter's mm -hmm. bedroom suite. Wow. The whole bedroom suite with, with that one, one with mm -hmm. that one jar. And you're yeah. getting more in your Blockbuster. Yeah. We've got more videos. So we're going to show you some really great ways that you can revitalize the older furniture. Even if you have oh, pieces, Pamela, great. that have a lot of uh, chipping, perhaps? or Absolutely. You know. mm -hmm. uh, I, Chipping is what I like to call little fleegies. <laughs> fleegies in the wood, little imperfections, right. but they add so much character. Mm. They're just lovely. Like this piece here, we did not do anything to it except paint it and then wax it, and that's the piece behind you right now. Oh, that's so cool. So, oh, we're going to yeah. take a look at it. Isn't yeah. that beautiful? Wow. So, yes, I, I just, I'm a lover of imperfections. Mm -hmm. I just think they add so much character and patina.
<laughs> a lot of patina. You got yeah. that great uh, old world charm in a sense, that French country look that comes to life brilliantly. There are, I know you have those older pieces of furniture in your home that you probably were considering throwing out. Don't right. throw them out. No. Get that do-it-yourself creativity going with the Bluestone Cottage. And you can revitalize that, have that really cool, shabby chic look. I know, Pamela, you had done your friend's uh, armoire. Was it an armoire or a chest? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And she wanted oh, it yeah. back when it was done. <laughs> I know it's Looks just so good. It's so funny. So in in the kit, mm -hmm. I've also put in two practice boards. If you're unsure of how you want to do it, you mm -hmm. can just use those for practice and then carry on to whatever you want to do. And there really is no right or wrong way to no, do this. Absolutely. Okay, so once again, we'll, we'll look at the kit. You even mm -hmm. included the rubber gloves. The rubber <laughs> so you gloves, have everything that you need. Chalking brush mm -hmm. is in there. The flat brush, and and there's also the um, the clear coat, which is a waterborne mm -hmm. varnish wow. to go right on top. So a nice glaze. something like um, kitchen cabinets, maybe something mm -hmm. that gets a lot of use. I would use this. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's beautiful. Such a Protects great way everything. to go. I mean, if you want to go with sort of, a, you know, very light whitewash, you can do that. If you want to go with a full on color, you know, you have the ability to do that with your chalking brush right here. It's $99 and change, but this is not just for one project. You're going to use this over and oh, over yeah. and over Absolutely. and over again. Absolutely. Soap and water cleanup, no mm -hmm. problem. You can keep those brushes forever. Notice me closing this right away mm -hmm. because they thicken up. Okay. So if you do want it a little bit thicker, you just open it up and leave it open for a few minutes because ah. it thickens rather quickly. Okay. So we want to keep them closed as we're working with them. The difference between the chalky patina and the silky patina, the chalky patina actually has chalky minerals in it. Oh, natural chalky. Natural minerals. Yeah. And that's what gives it that nice um, feel, that chalk finish to it. Mm -hmm. The silky patina, which is the one you have there, mm -hmm. um, gives it... a um, little bit underneath an eggshell finish. So you could actually leave it just like that. You don't have to put any top coat on it whatsoever, but you can distress it as well. They work beautifully. So Isn't easy. Isn't that lovely? And I just want to keep a little bit of that black so that you can actually see how it covers up that deep, dark black gloss In one without coat. sanding. Uh, it's just, it's remarkable. It really is. <laughs> I just love this. Yeah. I tell my husband, this you better so move fun. a little quicker or you're going to get painted, honey. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm just walking around the house painting like, mm, What can I paint, yeah. right? The oh, door frames, absolutely. I mean, the tabletops, the table legs. Have fun. It could be the chair that you've had passed down. Aunt Thelma mm -hmm. had her favorite chair, and now you have it. Go ahead and revitalize it. Put your spin on it. There's so many great do-it-yourself shows out right now, so we're getting a lot of different ideas. Mm -hmm. But go to those garage sales and find those treasures. Oh, absolutely. And it is so addictive, so mm -hmm. be aware. <laughs> Once you get started on this, it's just, it's endless what you can do. And then really. you have that, that sort of pride, like, oh my goodness, I did this. Yes. I was able to master doing a great sort of birdhouse, perhaps, mm -hmm. or a piece of furniture. You don't have to be a professional painter. You don't need to be a do-it-yourself expert. This Bluestone Cottage kit is allowing you to get that professional look, the professional results for a beginner. Even. Absolutely. And you are making a one of a kind for yourself. Mm -hmm. Like it's your own personal piece. And the colors, just all the colors are right in front on the spindles there. Mm -hmm. And they just flow together so well. You could take any two or three of them and they combine beautifully. Okay. There's the colors. We can uh, take lovely? a look at that. So you really can get creative. I know that oh, you did absolutely. a chest over here mm -hmm. with a ton of different colors, which is so cool. I, aren't they beautiful? Mm -hmm. Those are all the colors. See that, guys? Can we take a look? Look at that. <laughs> I love it. Could be a girl's room, right? oh. a little girl's room. You know what? It's home. so pretty. I could see it in a hallway with mm -hmm. just bed linens in it or something. Like, oh, it's yeah. just... Beautiful, beautiful piece. Stunning. Now, yep. do you recommend that we take off um, the hardware if we're painting? Furniture? Absolutely, okay. absolutely. Take off your hardware. I mm -hmm. mean, some people just like to paint right over yeah. it. And okay, mm -hmm. I, I like to take off all the hardware. Like this piece in particular had one missing, so the th the top three knobs are new, mm -hmm. and then the other ones we just spray painted them and put them back on, and they look beautiful. Wow. But yeah, whatever you can take off. If you're working on mm -hmm. kitchen cabinets, I always recommend that you take the doors off, mm -hmm. do the whole door. Turns out beautiful. Wow. Now, do you recommend that we have to do any sort of prep beforehand, sanding or priming? No, nothing. Nothing. That's the best nothing. thing. If it's really, really shiny, mm -hmm. you could give it a little scuff up if you want to. Right. But 
I, I don't have time for that. <laughs> I, I just don't. Yeah. I, I'm I, very creative, and if you're anything like me, you want to do it, but you want to see it done. Absolutely. So I just want to get in there and do it. <laughs> well, yeah, that is great because, you know, you may not have the time, but not mm. all paints allow you to have that completely polished look, right? right? If you don't prime it first or you don't sand it. I did a mirror years ago. It took me forever. Yeah. I had to put a million and one coats, right. and I was like, why did I start this project? Because it was hard to do. Mm -hmm. I love the result, but it's hard to do. This is super Super easy. I've Super never easy. ever tried this before yep. and I was painting over here mm -hmm. <laughs> so effortlessly and easily with no primer whatsoever mm -hmm. and over top of the darkest. I mean it's hard to cover up a black glaze paint. So this that we started mm -hmm. with is already dry. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Even better. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> so now I just want to show you mm -hmm. how to distress it and there is no rules. You distress it However you like, you take off as much as you want, as little as you want. Go with the grain, go okay. against the grain, whatever makes you happy. You could put one color over top of another. Now look as I sanded that mm -hmm. and the grains came through. Can you see a darker and lighter tinge coming through? Yeah, there it's it is. Mm -hmm. So interesting what you can get with and it every Every piece is a new experiment, and it's just oh. so much fun. It's like a one-of-a-kind mm -hmm. work of art that you are going to be the master creator of, and you don't need to be an expert to utilize the Bluestone Cottage. Super easy. In fact, you don't even need to prime. You don't need to sand your products beforehand. But take a look at the entire kit there. So you have that 500 mil size of that chalky paint. You have the brushes. You have the top coat, the gloves included, the different brushes, and the uh, little sample wood blocks to yes, absolutely. Test your projects first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All then right. We also have the set of six of the paints at yes. $76.50. So we get a beautiful sample of the different colors. All different colors, which mm -hmm. are in the chest. We mm -hmm. did this chest just to see how far the colors would go. Okay. And we had loads left over. Isn't so the top so one cool. is uh, beach glass. Okay, this one The here. next one is um, antique slate. Mm -hmm. Then Emma. Oh, she's so pretty. Isn't that beautiful? And then Tuscan teal, mm -hmm. crushed sage, Down there on the and the entire chest is in driftwood. So we're going to get all those colors included mm -hmm. in the kit. So you can do a project like this where it absolutely is a standalone, one of a kind. Easily, mm -hmm. easily a project like that. And if you were doing a bedroom suite and you wanted to do something like that, we have enough paint left over after doing that that you could do a nightstand in one of the colors. Mm -hmm. You could do another piece in all the colors. Like there was just, it goes very, very far. Look at that. That could be mm -hmm. uh, a kitchen table. That could be a side table. That could be a beautiful chair, an antique piece of furniture that you, you know, didn't love so much and it's in the basement, but you want to revitalize it. Think Absolutely. about a baby's crib as well. You may have had oh, uh, yes. your first child uh, some time ago. Absolutely. Now you're off to the fourth and you want to use that same crib. It would right. be so pretty. And you really, it doesn't have to match with everything. Mm -hmm. That's the beauty of this too, is you're making a statement piece. It could be in a whole room of pine and be your one wow piece. Yeah. yeah. So you have to tell everybody um, very quickly how yes. you came up about this concept because you created this. Yeah, I, I, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I've been painting furniture for years and yeah. I've tried all different kinds of paints. I've tried using, mm -hmm. you know, many. And I find that when you use a wall paint where it's not supposed to go, they never really hold up. Right. You try to distress it and it almost scratches. Mm -hmm. Whereas when you distress this, if you notice, it almost crumbles away with the chalk in it. And it just adds, to, it gives you that beautiful patina. But yet so professional and yeah. it's smooth to the touch. It dries super, super quickly. And that's another benefit of the Bluestone Cottage. It's made in Canada. But yes. I think the best thing is that I do not even notice a smell of paint mm -hmm. whatsoever. No. I know, it's it's amazing. Wow. <laughs> really low VOCs emitted yep. into the environment. Such a great way to tackle those do-it-yourself projects. I bet you have furniture in your home, and you thought one day, well, I'd love to get that refinished, but it's going to be uh, a large oh, project, so right. you leave it in the basement right. or the garage. Take it out. Revitalize it. Don't throw out those older pieces. No, absolutely not. They'll become your most mm -hmm. favorite pieces. That's okay. for sure. And so we also have the set of two brushes oh. with the furniture polish. Why do we need this, Pamela? I cannot tell you how excited I am to show you this. Mm -hmm. This is from a local beekeeper. He makes this exclusively for Bluestone Cottage. Wow. It is the furniture wax, beeswax. It's made with um, pure beeswax, natural, and organic orange oil. Smell. 
Oh, delicious. Isn't mm, that yummy. beautiful? <laughs> this so is nice. actually food safe. You could use it on a chopping block. Oh, wow. It's just wonderful. So I'm just going to do this little piece that mm -hmm. I just sanded right here. And you just put it on with your waxing brush. And these brushes are great for chalk painting or waxing. Mm -hmm. And then people ask me, how much do I put on? And I always say, as soon as it feels a little tacky, you know you've got everything. Okay. You just feel that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, just a little tacky. Mm -hmm. Then you grab your nice buffing cloth and you buff it up and you see the shine come through. But this adds such a lovely finish that it, it almost adds another dimension to it of mm -hmm. the antiquing. Isn't you that nice? That? The nice polish yeah. for your furniture. We get that nice sheen. It looks very fresh. It looks new. It looks re revitalized. And it brings th that new life into some of the older furniture pieces that you have. So pick up on your Bluestone Cottage Kit. You know, definitely want to go with the furniture polish. It is natural. So a local bee uh, uh, beekeeper. Yeah, yeah it's wow. a bee farm. So I just went to see him and I said, can you do this? And he said, yep. <laughs> All right, well, let's do it. Well, Pamela's special because nobody else gets that. It's just in the Bluestone Cottage. <laughs> it is. It's fantastic yeah. stuff. Yeah, he recognized it, you know, the ultimate do-it-yourselfer, right, Pamela Styles? <laughs> so, again, we also have the finishing kit with the two cotton buffing rags mm -hmm. and the sta sanding sponge at less than $10. This is a brand-new price, brand-new launch of Bluestone Cottage. Really excited to have this here. You know, there's so many shows out there, Pamela, right now that are all about doing it yourself. There's this sort of pride of, I did it. I was able to do it. It's not difficult and, and you don't have to be a professional. You don't have to be a professional mm -hmm. and, and the beauty is also your recycling. Yeah. So we're not throwing things in the garbage and, and we're taking things that mean something. They're well made. Mm -hmm. They're from a wonderful era and we're just repurposing them and putting them in our homes and loving them. Awesome. Absolutely loving them. So those um, cotton buffing rags, is mm -hmm. that something to just get that extra shine to our yeah. pieces? When you're using the wax, you okay. shine it up with that and then... Um, the, the uh, sanding sponge is for a little distressing. Awesome. All right, so unfortunately we are out of time with the Bluestone Cottage. Pamela, an absolute pleasure Thank having you, you so here. so much. Can I go around the studio and thinking, hmm, what can I paint yeah. next? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got more to share with you, so don't go away.